Hi everyone, my name is Avantika. Today I'm going to explain about Pythagoras theorem. Let's see what it is. Before we know about Pythagoras theorem, it is important we know what is a right angle triangle. Let's see. By hearing the name right angle triangle, we can tell that this triangle has one right angle and the other two angles are acute. The reason behind the other two angles being acute angle is the angle sum property. All angles of a triangle should add up to 180 degree. C, which is the hypotenuse, is also the longest side and opposite to the right angle. The other two lines, A and B, are the legs or the height and the base respectively. Pythagoras theorem. These are all the formula for Pythagoras theorem. A square plus B square equals to C square. If the length of both A and B are known, then C can be calculated as C equals to square root of A square plus B square. If the length of C and one of the side A or B are known, then the length of the other side can be calculated as A equals to the square root of C square minus B squared or B equals to the square root of C square minus A squared. The Pythagoras theorem is also used in architecture. Let's see how to solve a real life word problem using Pythagoras theorem. I have a question which is Emily has to fix the window pane. So she put a ladder against the wall. That's when her sister Emma started to wonder that what is the length of the ladder? She knew the length of the wall, which is three feet, but she didn't know the length of the flower bed in between, the ladder and the wall. Emma's dog could walk four steps in the flower bed. Each step is one feet long. Help Emma find the length of the ladder and the flower bed. Given. Height of the wall equals three feet. The length of Emma's dog's each step is one feet. Emma's dog can walk four steps to find. The length of, we need to find the length of the ladder and the flower bed. Operations used in this are square root, addition, and multiplication. Solution. First, we need to find the length of the flower bed. One feet into four steps equals to four feet. The length of the flower bed is four feet. Now we can find the length of the ladder or the hypotenuse, which is a square plus b square equals to c square. a square equals to three square, b square equals to four square. So b square plus four square equals to c square, nine plus 16 equals to c square, 25 equals to c square. So the square root of 25 is five. So c equals to five feet. The length of the ladder is five feet and the flower bed is four feet long. Thank you and have a nice day. I hope you liked my video.